Hello there, Stampers. It's Jackie and Dave. Hey there. <laughs> we, I'm glad to be back. Yeah. We can't get rid of him now. You guys have left such great comments that I share them all with him. So he kind of gets a chuckle out of your comments. I look every month doing this. I know. I can't get rid of them because you yep. guys like them. <laughs> Anyhow, we are here with volume six of our fun full template class. If you've been following along, you should already have made, what is it, five times four, 20, yeah. right? My math's bad. That's it. <laughs> 20 fun fold card templates by now. So now we have four more for you. Um, remember, these are designed so that you can make the template, save them, and then when you go to create, you pull out these templates, you are all set to make some fun, fun folds with any stamps, ink, and paper that you have. Yep, just copy them like I do. Yeah, you know, I, <laughs> I tell can him, do it. Right, because <laughs> if he could do it, y'all could do it. So make the templates. Now, if you're watching this, make sure that you grab some old cardstock, some old designer series paper, and you can start and stop the video to follow along with us. We give you all the measurements and all the scoring measurements. You just might have to stop, start, rewind, or whatever to catch, catch all of them. And then make sure you write on your templates all those sizes and measurements and everything so it's right there on that template for when you go to use it. Now, if you prefer written tutorials, I do have a written tutorial that's available during the month of November, if you place a $50 or more order with me, you will automatically get emailed this for free. You know, give us oh, a weekish or so to get it out to you. It doesn't like happen automatically, but we promise we'll email it to you any order during the month of November. If you would rather purchase the tutorial, we've got that available as well. And that's over on the website. Now, speaking of that, in the description of this video, I always say right down there because it depends on your device, but yeah, normally it's right <laughs> down there. Um, you will find a link to the blog post. Over there, we'll have all the information. You'll have pictures of the cards and it will have all the information for ordering to get it for free or to just purchase the tutorial as well as a complete list of the supplies I use because each month I use a different featured stamp set and make the four cards with that and share that with you. And then that is part of the tutorial. So the tutorial gives you all the measurements and everything to make the templates, but then step-by-step -step instructions to make the actual four cards that I made. So that's a lot of babbling. Yeah, let's, go, let's get stamping. I know, it's time I, to stamp. I just get talking. That's what I'm here for. Okay. No, you're not. You're not stamping. You're, you're oh, scoring. I'm, I'm scoring. scoring I'm tutorials. Folded. Yeah. That's right. Okay, guys, you ready? <laughs> let's flip this camera down and let's get to work on this month's fun folds. Let's go. All right. Let's dive into this month's fun folds. This is the first card. Now, I did this last month and you guys really liked it that way. So I'm going to show you my finished card first, then we'll make the template. I think sometimes that makes a little bit more sense as Dave is scoring and folding. So we are using Cottage Rose stamp set, one of my very favorites in this year's catalog um, the stamp set and the coordinating dies so the four cards I have I use that and so our tutorial will share with you all the supplies I use plus step-by-step -step instructions for each of these cards now this first one has a belly band I don't think we've ever done one with a, a belly one. band so you can see that this just slides off like so and then our card opens just a little bit different than normal. That's what I consider a fun fold. Um, anything that is not just folded in half and open the correct way. So that is what our card looks like. So let's get Dave in here to show you how to make this template. Are you ready? I'm ready, let's do this thing. Okay, so we are starting with an 11 by five and a half. So it's a little bit bigger than a half sheet yep. of cardstock. Um, that 11 by five and a half. And we're gonna do a bunch of scoring here. So our first one is one and a quarter. Oh, that's it? That's it. And I can go from this side over yeah, here. Yeah, I would go, go I that go way. Here. Yeah, because we're gonna keep pushing it through and do several scoring. So Ooh, one and a quarter. quarter. Right there. Yeah, that one's a little tricky. But I'm all about doing trickies. Oh, I know. And then five and a half. That's not tricky. That's a pretty normal one. And then nine and a quarter. Whoa, we're getting down the board now. Oh, and a quarter. Nine and a quarter. We're stop around there then. So we have one and a quarter, five and a half, nine and a quarter. All done. Uh, it's all done. This is a pretty easy one. So now this one kind of folds backwards. So you're oh, gonna fold I gotta it. go like this way. Yep. Right? Exactly. And then I gotta go this way. Yep, you and got then it. And I gotta go this way. Wow, you got it. Oh, you need your bone I folder. I need my bone bender thing. Bone bender. Here you go. There we go. Get some nice, Let's make this get some good creases in there. the way we want it to. Check this out. This thing is like my favorite tool on earth here. 
So I don't know, that this one's pretty easy. Stays. Yeah, now, you know, we just have to remember that we're actually opening our folds on the right. So that's a little oh, bit yeah. backwards. Now, we've got some designer series paper. We have two pieces that are one by five and a quarter. Nope. Oh. It's going to go here, but then also on the inside. Nope, the inside of this piece. Oh. Because that way you see it when you open it up. So one there. So I'm going to put one there. Let's see. I'm going to help you out here. We'll put a little how about we do this. That goes on the inside. And then close it up. Close it up. And then like put that, this and yeah. on the outside. So those are the same size. That's because they're just front and back. So it's like a Fig Newton cookie. Some on the inside, <laughs> some on the outside. Oh, God. <laughs> oh my goodness. Who invited you here? Well, I didn't center that up very good, did I? No, but you know, close. but guess what? It's green glue. I bet we can we can peel it off. <laughs> oh, then you'll do it right for me, won't you? I will. <laughs> Except now, we'll see. That's probably not a whole Just kind of like every day, isn't yep. it? No, no. Okay, so there's that one. Then on this flap, we uh, have Ah, bigger piece, pieces. I see them coming. This makes a lot more better. sense. You want to do the glue yeah, this I'm time? This gotta, Just use a little bit. We got to, you know, we're getting you practice. Ooh, whoa. whoa. Boy, did that come out good. I know, you see that, that was a brand new one. So, And this one is one and a half by five and a quarter. So instead of one, it's one and a half because that flap was a little bit bigger. There. There you go. So now when we open it up, we see both sides there. Got we open it. it up and now we see both. Oh, that's kind of cool. Oh, I know. Isn't that tricky? That's what makes it fun, right? Exactly. Okay, we need a piece for the inside. Oh, got to have inside. Is this inside? That's the inside. So that so goes right here. That goes right there. That's kind of our normal four by five and a quarter that goes on the inside of, of all of our cards. And now it goes like this. Whoops. Yep. Yeah, I did that right. You did. Now, here's the fun part. is belly band time. Ooh. So for the belly band, and you could use different colors of cardstock. I'm just using the same here. It's one inch by nine and three quarters. So, so I bet I got to fold this around this thing do. somehow. We're not going to score it. We're going to um, we're going to score or lay it on there. Yep, bend it on bend it around on that side, and then bend it on the other side. You just don't want to pull it too tight because you want to make sure it it'll slide yep. up and down. And then you can flip it over. Oh, it slides. Yep. And then we're gonna put just be careful here. Now some people might like to use snail or something on there so it doesn't goosh because if it gooshes at all, it's gonna stick. Yeah, you wanna make but sure. I am not afraid of gooshing. <laughs> if you, there you go. So now that's gonna just slide up and down. Let's see. There we go. So sometimes it gets hung up. So there is that card. Now let's bring mine back in here. And you'll notice my belly band, I put a couple of circles on here and we didn't put anything on the template because you could decorate this belly band however you want. Whether you want circles or shapes or just a cutout image, that's really the focal point of your card. So make that all pretty. And then, you know, the rest of the card is pretty simple after that. So there is Template number one. Number one. Now, somehow or another, card number two ended up the hardest. I don't think any of them are really that hard, but they're not going to like our measurements on this <laughs> one. So, pay attention, everybody, on these measurements. We have 11, but we have four and an eighth. So, it's a, just four a Four and one eighth. It's a smidgen smaller than that, you know, half sheet of cardstock, and you'll see why. Oh, wait, we got to show them the card. Oh, yeah. So, here's the card. And you'll notice it opens up like so, um, but we're gonna use a lot of eighths because if you notice, these just overlap a little bit right there. So that's what our card's gonna look like when we're done with it here. So let's go four and an eighth by 11, and we're gonna score at two and seven eighths. Seven eighths, that's out there. I know. Now we're gonna do this one a little different. I want you to flip that around and we're gonna flip around. We're gonna score in from the other edge at two and three quarters. Oh. So these are they're so Okay, that's close. different. There's two. Yeah. There's three quarters. There we go. So what we did is we came in two and seven eighths and then in from this side at two and three quarters. Got it. Now, do you remember the groove or the bumpy go on the inside? Bumpy goes in. Yep, if you can. So go ahead and fold that up. And you can use the phone, phone folder, get some nice crisp edges on there. And 
and then it should overlap just a little bit. And it does. And you can go either way. I think with mine, I have the bigger flap down on the bottom, which it does, it could go either way, but that's how the designer series paper will work. And then something a little bit different. We're gonna back this on with a piece that is four and a quarter by five and a half. So that's our normal card size when we fold oh, it. Oh yeah, up. yeah. But we're gonna just go ahead and put that as like a postcard behind it to give it a nice little edge. So we're just gonna glue this and stick this on. Correct. I got glue. <laughs> And it just gives a real little border of that contrasting color there. Um, because of, we're using those eighth measurements, it does make it a smaller border than when we use quarter measurements. Okay, let's add some designer series paper. That's gonna go on that bottom piece, bottom one. which is a little bit bigger, and that's four by two and five eighths. So we got a lot of eighths going on here today. I know, I told ya. I'm okay with that. It's. You know, sometimes um, I use a lot of eighths, so, you know, make sure, I always say it's just one, you know, tick marker. In the case of this cutter, it's two tick marks um, off of, you know, bigger than the measurement. Okay, then for the inside piece. Oh, inside, that's this part. Okay, this one again is a but weird measurement. this goes measurement. this way. Correct. And this is three and seven eighths by five and an eighth. So again, it's a different than our normal insides. Um, so three and seven eighths by five and one eighth. And it should fit in there if we cut everything. Now, just, a, yeah, just a little tip, like with this fun fold and actually any of them, when you start scoring, you know, your sizes get a, you know, it probably takes up what, a 32nd of the inch or whatever. Yeah. So sometimes when you're making a fun fold, if your measurements ever seem to be off, just trim them down a little bit. Like if this designer series paper doesn't fit from the measurements I give you, just trim it a little bit to get it to fit. Um, I feel like I'm doing that all the time. And then I'm gonna give you this, which is two and three quarters square. And we're going to go ahead and just adhere that, but only onto that top layer. And is it like in the middle or something? Yeah, just eyeball Kinda. it ish in the middle. So only up here, I'll put glue. And I cut that at two and three quarters, but I'm gonna bring our card back and I'm gonna explain something here. How's that, kinda like that? Perfect. Oops, I slid. Not supposed to slide. That's because you put too much glue on. I <laughs> there, now there it's stuck. Okay, so here's our template. Now I said this is two and three quarters square, and I took that because on my completed card, I did use the stylish shapes dies, and it's a two and three quarter inch square. But again, this is the focal point, just the square part here. So this could be a circle or any shape or smaller or bigger, depending on the products, the stamp sink and paper you're using, you know, don't limit yourself to just this. And you could layer this, you could do more with that, but that is your focal point. So even on your template, you might wanna just write focal point on that one. So again, just that little bit of overlap. And there is card number two. Awesome. Okay, card number three. This might be my favorite one. Um, again, we're using just the Cottage Rose stamps um, for these. And you'll notice this card's gonna open up this way, and then it's going to open that way. Now, initially when I started doing this, I tried to make this all in one sheet of cardstock and cutting some of this off, but it wasn't giving me really nice fits and nice folds. So I decided to do it in two separate pieces, which you'll see here in a second. So that's what we're gonna look like. All right, so you are going to start with our normal eight and a half by five and a half and score it at four and a quarter. Just four like, and a quarter. Just like you're making a, a regular- like a regular card card. It is, it's just a regular normal card. Okay, now let's just set that aside because we're gonna do this first. So this piece now is three and a quarter by five and a half and you're gonna score that at a half an inch. So you probably half use an inch. just a half inch. There's my half inch over here. So three and a quarter by five and a half. I know, it's a little tricky one. It's like right there and that's it. That's it. Well, that's not much. I know. Now we can take these pieces and fold them up. Fold that one. 
and that's that little flap is gonna nope we want it to come forward so it's gonna go oh yeah that way so it's gonna go like that <laughs> like so so we need can i help you with glue in sure because <laughs> if you put it's probably a good idea if you put too much actually you know what i want to show you how to use snail on this one you want to learn how to use a new yes. adhesive? And I think I said snail. That's like a blast from several years ago. It's stamp and seal. Now, this adhesive, you just put it down and you run it along the edges. And sometimes it gets jammed up. I'm a little concerned about you <laughs> using it. But you're not going to have any wiggle room with this. you got to be a little bit more careful putting it down. I'm always careful. I know. But sometimes with small pieces that you want to make sure nothing gooshes out, um, you, you want to use that. So now this has to go on this. Yeah, so you're going to just line it up <laughs> right there so that it can fold down. <laughs> How'd I do? You're close. There, it folds there down. Go. It folds down. So let's see. You know what? Nope. See, we have no wiggle room. I would have brought it down just a little bit further so you don't see that score line. Oh. It's, it's kind of a, a tricky one because you want it tight down on that card but they'll get the hint here or, or the idea. So that is, we'll call that our card base. And then we're gonna go ahead and just add some designer series paper. Oh, my. Now that is gonna go on the front. So I this, guess, right? yep, the front of the bigger card. So now we're just gonna add a bunch of different layers on here. So that's, okay. Now go ahead and fold that flap down. And we're going to put this piece on the flap. So, and again, that could be designer series paper. And that's going to be our focal point, but I thought we'd put it, put them all on there. And that was three by four and three quarters. So we got a four and five and a quarter and a three and three by four and three quarters. <laughs> now we're going to put it a piece on the inside once you open the flap. So it's, it's actually the first inside. We'll call it inside oh, one, inside. inside two. Got it. Now this one I made just a little bit smaller than the flap so that we ensure oh, that, okay. that it gets covered because we want it. So it'll cover up. So yeah. Can, how so far just down can I go? Kind of eyeball it when you stick it, it under there. So that one is two and three quarters by four and a half. So it's two and three quarters by four and a half. So it's just a little bit smaller. Something like that. Yeah, as long as you kind of center it on this that way and then more towards the top, you yep. know, you'll, you'll be good. Check this out. There yes. you go. And then one more piece. Oh, our normal four inside. by five and a quarter for the inside. So that goes there, right? That goes right there. That's the inside inside. The ins Yeah, so we have two insides. I guess that was kind of confusing. So inside inside. And that just centers in there. And then you're done with number three. I think we got it. Look at that. And it works. There we go. So let's look at this one again. This is the part where I said it is a little tricky. You want to get that tucked down there as tight as you can to that top edge. But here, I did put the vanilla on here. And you can see, because on my card, I did stamp on it. Could be designer series paper. Design this however you want. That is the focal point of your card. You can add layers, circles, squares, whatever you want on there. And then we're going to open it up. We've got some more stamping there. And then some stamping on the inside. So you really have three different places to decorate this one. So there's number three. Okay, number four. I think this might even be the easiest one, even though it doesn't look... It doesn't look, look the easiest. I know, but it is. There's not a lot of pieces here. So the card actually opens like so and then stretches out that way. And you can see this focal point. We see it there, but then it fits right inside for to see the front of the card. Mm -hmm. So I, I promise it's really easy. I sure hope so. <laughs> half card, half sheet cardstock, eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a quarter. Just like you're making a regular card. Okay, regular cards go right there. there Are you going to fold it? You can fold it. I my thingy. And okay, then you're going to take a die. And it, again, any shape, circle, square, fancy dancy shape, Trapezoid. whatever you want. <laughs> Trapezoid, whatever that is. And you need to make sure you open your card up and just cut an opening in the center. It can be bigger, it can be smaller. You do whatever you want for this part. So we got the magic of TV going here. And you can see here where we've cut this out. 
Got it. Then we're gonna set that aside and give you the second piece because there's really only two pieces. Oh. And that one is <clears throat> five and a quarter by eight. So it's a little smaller than a half sheet. And you're gonna score it at four and at six. Oh, both of those, huh? Yep. We got easy measurements on this one. I'm liking we? this one. I know. So I think this four is four like easy. that. Four and six. And then six like that. And then it's going to fold like a backwards card again. <laughs> so I'm going to go this way? Uh-huh. And then this way? And then back. You got it. And then we're going to open this one up, and that you're going to keep it folded. Oh, this goes in here. And you're going to just center <clears throat> it on the inside like so. And that's it. And that's it. And then I'm going to show you how to put this other piece on. Hey, I got my glue going bad already. There I go. That was a brand new one. It shouldn't be empty because if it's empty, that means you use too much. <laughs> what you know, this is why we have I like, glue. like 10 of those on our order every single month, I think. Okay, so so there. far we've got this going. Now you can use the piece you cut out, or you could use the exact same shape and cut out from a different color. So you can see here. I did cut another circle out. It's the same size as this one, okay? Same size as the opening and just a different color. So we're gonna kind of make believe here. And this, you're going to make sure you only put adhesive on- I bet right here and that's yep. it. Actually, actually, it might even be easier to, to put it on there. That's a good idea. Then I don't mess. But now you got adhesive on there, so be careful. And then you're gonna stick that down right through that opening. Kinda like that. Mm -hmm. And then you should be able to bring the front open. Hey, it works. It works. And now you can stretch And I can do this too. Look at that. Hey, that's pretty awesome. Now you can get as fancy as you want on that piece. You know, the only trick here is just make sure whatever that is, is the same size as your opening, you know, the same thing. Yep. And then this is your focal point now, so you can, in this case, I layered another circle, but you can, you know, make that as fancy dancy as you want. So I think we're done. Okay, there's, I like that one. That was easy. all four of our cards. So let's bring them all back in here, the pretty ones. And remember, check out that blog post because it'll give you all the details on getting the tutorial. You can get it for free with an order, $50 order this month, the whole month of November. Um, and actually, if you place an order in the first couple of days of November before we're sharing this video, you'll get it as well. Um, or you can purchase the tutorial and that the tutorial has all the measurements to make the templates. So you can, you know, make them nice and pretty, just like Dave's, <laughs> or you can have all the step-by-step -step instructions to make my four cards um, using the stamp set. So I think we're done. Thanks for uh, joining me again. And can I say it? You can say it. Have a stamp happy day.